Welcome back, everyone, to part two of a replay between Hu and Moon here on Terranus, um, not Terranus, and on Echo Isle. My goodness, we do have the, um, the giant sea turtle now going down. And just to, as a reminder, this is from the World Cyber Games 2009. Um, we are out of the group matches and into um, the elimination matches right now. Torin Chieftain level two gonna creep out, make it to level three from the Renegade Wizard and the, the remaining units as the Blade Master is away to try to do some additional harassment. Does have a, still have that potion of invulnerability on him, and the Demon Hunter is is out as well. The Blade uh, Beastmaster sitting at level two, going to pick up some uh, perhaps a scroll of healing and a potion of lesser invulnerability. No, just this, um, a potion of lesser invulnerability. Torin Chieftain sitting at level three has a talisman of evasion and is not picking it up. Okay, he's going to go ahead and pick it up and now head out. So uh, the talisman of evasion on the Torin Chieftain um, does have level two shockwave. So shockwave will play into this particular fight. Blade Master wanting to see. Um, what exactly the items he will have to deal with notices that there is no additional creeping. Goblin Tinker once more in the mix, most likely for surrounds right now, as the Goblin Tinker's um, pocket factory is such a large unit, is able to get off a lot of surrounds. And Moon is trying to make sure that um, that the army of Who does not slip by him. Now heading over to the north, and we have some um, creeping going on right here. So Moon may be able to creep jack this particular location. Uh, a hawk in play, giving a little bit of true sight, and the demon hunter is gonna um, come in and now just get a mana burn off on that blade master. And the army of Who is now forced to run to the back. D demon hunter is now trying to take over these creep camps as well. We'll get to level four off of this particular creep camp, and a pocket factory is in play. So uh, uh, Who not quite sure. What what to do ended up giving a lot of experience to Moon. Torin Chieftain now gets mana burn, unfortunately, and is not able to get any additional shockwaves off. Is now up in the air, just spinning. Blade Master has Potion of Lesser invulner or Greater Invulnerability being used. Staff of Preservation being used on, I believe, the Goblin Tinker. And the Torin Chieftain is now just trying to um, get an additional shockwave off. And we have a Swirl of Town portal coming in from the Beastmaster in order to teleport out of there. Gonna finish off this Pocket Factory, but... Yeah, that, that attack was just in a bad situation for Moon, and Moon, um, wait a second, the Staff of Teleportation um, being used by the Moon in order to pick up a, a Scroll of Healing and now head back to the north. There are a lot of units, um, a lot of units to be healed. Moon's, um, Moon's Demon Hunter is particularly low on on hit points right now, not quite sure how he's going to get healed back right now, uh, trying to use that... Um, Trying to use the Night Stone, I think that's the Night Stone, in order to get some additional Moon Juice in those Moon Wells. Should drop his Circuit of Nobility, try to heal up, and then pick that Circuit of Nobility back up. Does not have the upgrade on those Moon Wells for additional um, regeneration at this point. And I don't see the Hunter's Hall anywhere, so does not have that at all. And meanwhile, we do have Hu having having a, a raider to the north and now setting up a, a great hall for an expansion attempt. Wisp will spot that in just a moment as Hu is trying to push out right now. The game is still too close to Gaul. Calls uh, both players in, in relatively good position. Spirit Walkers, three Spirit Walkers in play will have a good amount of Spirit Link and Disenchant to stop those um, Cyclones. But uh, there, that's a lot of Druid to the Talon to deal with right now. Over here to the north, Raider's now going to be able to come in. Raider should be able to make short work of this Ancient of War and perhaps some of these um, some of those Moon Wells. Over here to the south, Moon is going to come across this expansion and who will be forced to cancel it. But uh, Blade Master now trying to take down that early, early, um, or, uh, those moon wells, and we have a swirl of town portal coming in. So uh, units are going to be forced to run to the back a little bit, not able to t finish off that moon well. And units are now uh, now up in the air using the cyclone. So that speed scroll being used in order to try to run those units away. Blade Master sitting with plus 16 on that attack, so that Blade Master is going to be doing a lot of damage. At the same time, a Pocket Factory is dropped down next to the Great Hall. And the Pocket Factory, I've, I don't know, I've never seen a fight between a Pocket Factory and a Great Hall to see um, if the Great Hall will be able to complete first. Um, but that Great Hall looks to be taking a lot of damage from those Pocket Factories and, and those um, Clockwork Goblins right now. Uh, especially when they explode, you'll see that the uh, hit points go down even more. And the Great Hall is not going to finish, I don't think. Too much damage being done to that Great Hall. He's going to have to cancel that in just a second. Yeah, cancels the Pocket Factory. And wow, a Pocket Factory to stop an expansion. Great use, um, great use of an ability coming in from Moon. Over here to the north, um, no abusing of the Goblin Marketplace yet. And over here to the south, Blade Master picks up a potion of lesser invulnerability. Does not have and a Scroll of Town portal. So 
uh, lost some of, uh, I think traded one circlet of nobility over to the Torrent Chieftain, perhaps. Yeah, one circlet of no nobility over to the Torrent Chieftain, so the Blade Master only has plus 14 on the attack right now. Ancient of War trying to re regenerate some hit points, and the Blade Master trying to run into the back. Moon's army Blade is sitting at 50 over 50, and with that, um, Hawk in play is able to see that Blade Master, so those units are going to be forced to run to the back. Raiders against um, Druids of the Talon. Those Raiders do do extra damage if they're able to hit the Druids of the Talon, but the Druids of the Talon are just going to pick them up in the air. We do have another ex um, the ex another expansion attempt coming in from Hu once more. And the Torrent Chieftain is now heading back to the south. We do have a Wisp and now Hawk in play. Moon not quite sure really what he's trying to do or really where he's going with this. Beastmaster now heading to the south as well. And, and there's a Peon trying to make sure that Moon does not set up a, an expansion over here. A uh, quick dispel on uh, detonate on uh, on those raiders over there, and blade master um, running with the army of of moon. There is no hawk in play, and now nice um, nice shockwave comes across and quick a couple quick dispels and the and beastmaster is now in a little bit of trouble and is forced to do a scroll of town portal to head head back out of here. Moon gets the level three on his uh, beastmaster though, so a little bit of a, a little bit of. Um, good play or just good focus firing coming in from Moon in order to get that last kill off right before the scroll of town portal goes off. Moon now breaking into low upkeep, 53 over 70 food, who is at 56 over 60, so needs additional orc burrows, which he is building in order to complete that up. And we do have a great haul nearing completion about halfway done. Marketplace running ahead over to the north. Who really not sure what he can really do in this particular matchup against Moon. Um, he, every single time he tries to push, um, he is forced to just try to run back right now. Um, who's who's making the game interesting, but I do not know if who's going to be able to really finish this off. Peon to the south trying to do some scouting. Moon's going to come across this expansion once more, and it's not close enough in order, and it will be cancelled once more if those Druids of the Talon stay close by. Yeah, the Fairy Dragon's going to focus it down, and now uh, Raider's now coming Coming in in order to try to take down these um, moon wells. Nice base design coming in from Moon in order to not allow those uh, buildings to be surrounded. So that is a very, very, a very, very good base design. And a scroll of town portal on top of the Torn Chieftain, able to take down two moon wells, and but leaves a Spirit Walker behind and gets mana burned to death. So and the and a little bit of a misplay coming in from Hu, able to take down a couple of moon wells, but at the same time, um, not too much of a victory there. Um, we d he did supply lock moon, but unless he is able to run in there and take out units now, the supply lock really doesn't matter, as moon is really, really comfortable with his army size at this point. And the expansion again was once more canceled um, by Hu, so moon having this wrist to the south is able to force him to cancel that expansion every, every single time he tries to get it up. Hu now, trying to heal back, trying to push f and push forward one more time. He's not really changing up his strategy at, at this point. So, a little bit of a little bit surprised that he's not trying to change up his strategy. I don't know what a, a really strong strategy is at this point what he could really do, but um who should really be trying perhaps trying to get to wind riders um, as those wind riders are able to are immune to cyclone and able to focus down those druids of the town relatively easily. But then also those druids of the town can go into the bird form and then just start ripping apart those wind riders. So um, I may maybe they have tried that and it didn't really work out that well. Heading back to the south, raiders checking out, checking to make sure that there is no expansion over here. Looking at the main bases, both bases have enough um, enough for about five more minutes of mining right now. So in about five minutes, expansions will have to go up. Torin chieftain. Um, just trying to run around and we have the main army of moon now trying to press in stay tuned for part three and the conclusion of this replay from the world cyber games 2009 between moon and who here on echo isle